Welcome back everyone. I'm your host Digital Chaser and today we're going to be talking about pretty much bullet casing distance for the PD side of things. This is based in Cubicore uh, if you wanted to know. So pretty much we're going to go ahead and I'm going to show you with what I'm talking about. So if we were to take out our firearm here and if we were to pop a couple rounds we now have a bullet casing dropped on the ground there and if we were to grab out our flashlight and if we were to shine our flashlight there at the ground, it's you have to be like right up on it to see it. Not really good for picture taking or any type of uh, visuals. Like let's say if you want to be back here and actually get the picture, you cannot do that. So in today's video, that's what I'm going to show you. So stay tuned. Okay, so once you have opened up your TX data, open up your TX data, go into Cubicore, go into resources, and then go into QB and then what you're searching for is you're going to try to search for your police job. If you can't find it right away, uh, come up here to your search. Now that you're in the QB core, type in P-O-L and it should bring up QB core police. Double click on that file right there and then we should have a couple different files in here. Uh, the file we're going to be looking at is the, uh, it's underneath our client. So let's open up our client. And let's go into the evidence. Once your stuff is loaded, we need to look for some, uh, we need to go to like line 240, uh, which in there is pretty much, uh, let's see. So keep scrolling down until you find Okay, so scroll down to line uh, around 300 to about 400 ish. So right here, if distance is greater than 1.5 centimeters, uh, pretty much then right here, well, all we got to do is just adjust these numbers. So let's adjust these numbers to 10.0 and we'll do the same for each one of these. Now this is for blood drops and for uh, bullet casings and fingerprints. So if you ever have like fingerprints on the scene or people, you know, lose their fingerprint around, this will be the collection of it pretty much. And it's like down here at the very bottom. So it's not hard to find. Uh, and also there is, if you scroll up a little ways, uh, right here, Ernie's fingerprint, uh, we need to change this number to, uh, 10.1 or 10.0. Uh, and then you need to do the same for all of your, uh, numbers. So we'll do 10.0. Um, it's so pretty much from 266 right in here. And if y'all ever need any help, y'all can just rewind the video, uh, or contact me through discord. Um, also right here, we need just these numbers here, uh, 10.0, uh, make sure y'all, you always save. If you don't know how to save with Visual Studios, all you have to do is click control S or come up here to your files and then go click save. It's that easy. Okay. Now that we have all of the code already marked down as uh, 10. We should be able to hop back into city and be able to show you. So just make sure that you restart your city before you hop back in or else you won't see any difference. Okay. So pretty much now that that you're back in your city, uh, and you pretty much, once you shoot off a couple of rounds, so pretty much I want to grab my gun here and I want to pop off a couple of rounds up over here. So I'm just going to do one, two, three, you know, just shoot off a couple. And now if we were to put up a gun and actually pull a flashlight, this will definitely help if you're in like a crime scene area and you really don't you want to get a good picture of the area and everything. Uh, and then pretty much uh, that is basically it. So you can keep looking at it with your flashlight after you get at a certain distance. Uh, so pretty much like this is 10. So it's be like 10 feet or or 10 centimeters depending on like however you look at it in the game logic 
Uh, and then, like, you know, if you walk away, it's not going to be there. But whenever you, once you're done seeing it with your flashlight, you can't, like, unsee it. So, then, you know, you can pretty much snap your picture of it and everything. Well, if, you know, if y'all enjoyed this video, please drop a like and subscribe. And uh, I'll definitely do more content like this. If there's anything that you'll need help with or anything, please let me know. And I'll definitely be down to help. This is your boy Digital. Stay frosty, everyone. Signing out.